Well, we're back in First Peter chapter number two this morning, and I want you to take a look at just one verse with me because I think it's something that's really easy to forget. Because the kingdom of God is a spiritual kingdom and doesn't come with all the outward physical wrappings of being a royalty, uh, being a child of God, being a, being a a brother and sister to the Lord Jesus Himself, being a prince or a princess in the kingdom. Look what look what uh, it says here. Something to remind us in verse number nine of, of, of First Peter chapter number two. It says, "But you are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, and holy nation, a peculiar people, that you should show forth the praises of Him who hath called you out of darkness into His marvelous light." So instead of wearing royal robes or having that signet ring that we wear on our finger that proves that we are a part of the royal family. God has told us that we are to represent him by allowing his ways, his desires, his way or manner of living to flow out from us. Yesterday, we talked about uh, how the word of God, like a newborn baby, just makes us grow so, so fast. And we should desire it. If we even, if we even know the Lord, we should desire to grow in him. The same thing is true in this representation of the Lord. I think a lot of people think of Christianity as something that you just add to your life, but really it's trading in the old life for a new life. And and Christ becomes the centerpiece of everything that we live for. Uh, if we're a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, now think about think about that that royal priesthood. That's not just uh, just going back to ordinary life. That is living in such a way that that people will see the difference between us the us now and the us before, or at least the us now and and the way that the world approaches life. And so I want to encourage you to remember who you are. You are not just some random citizen of a nation that'll come one day. You are actually a part of the royal family. Everyone a part of God's kingdom is a part of the royal family and represents the royal family as if they were wearing the robes or had a crown or any of those things. And so I want to encourage you today, remember who you are and then behave as if you are that royal family member in God's kingdom, we are to have the praises of God flow out of us naturally. That's attitude, that's that's disposition, that's even how we see the things that are happening in our lives. And, and so I want to encourage you that we are to look like we've come out of the darkness into his marvelous light. And so take, take notice today, am I uh, living in a way that, that represents what it would be like to be in the kingdom of God. Because I think there's a lot of people out there that claim to be believers in the Lord Jesus Christ, but they are just flat out not living as if they are. In fact, they might even living be living trapped in the things that they are no longer trapped in, even though uh, they're released, they're still living as if they're chained. And and I want to encourage you today. You don't have to be a victim. You don't have to be held back. You don't have to live the way you used to live. You don't have to live in fear of the things that are happening in this world. You are a part of the royal family. And, I, and the word of God encourages us to live as if we believe that's true. Because you are, if you're a genuine believer in the Lord Jesus Christ, you're a part of the royal family. And I want to encourage you today. Live out the rest of this day as if you are. Enjoy it.